what the cities would look like? They'd look like houses immersed in lovely gardens with streams and waterfalls and flowers and all of the things that we picture that we can't have. And your home would be designed in a manner different than any process today. You would be sitting in front of a hemisphere and you say, I'd like a home of about 3,000 or 4,000 square feet and it would appear. They say, no, no, slow, more curvilinear and you get more curvilinear. Then your wife says, don't you think that the kitchen is a little too near and the kitchen is moved while you're talking? It understands language. And then you'll see a balcony extending over a lake and you'll see a building occur in front of you. And your wife might say, gee, how about another three feet on that balcony? You know, and it extends and you say, that's what I want. Then you pull out a blueprint. You see, no more, I'm an architect, I'll design the house for you. That's not for you. In other words, this is real democracy. This is where you participate on the human level. Now, of course, your children have a separate section in the house because the toilet bowl is too big for them. They fall in it. They can't reach the sink. The electrical outlets are dangerous. It's like you living with a batch of giants. So the children's sector, everything is reduced and it's changed as the children change. If this isn't love, warm and humane. A lot of people think that the Venus Project is a technical project of computers and scientific equipment. No. All scientific and technical equipment to me is so many millions of tons of junk unless it enhances the lives of people.